the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to him. For he laid the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean depths. Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Only those whose hands and hearts are pure, who do not worship idols and never tell lies. They will receive the Lord's blessing and have a right relationship with God their Savior. Such people may seek you and worship in your presence, O God of Jacob. God, we lament the destruction that has been done. That we have permitted to be done. By our silence and inaction. And by our direct action. To the earth, your creation. Forgive us, O God. Even now we realize that our home is suffering. suffering. Its inhabitants are suffering. The lack of clean air, water and air. Lack of life-giving nourishment. Lack of safe habitat. Help us to become aware of the needs of humanity. Of the needs of generations to come. Of the needs of soil and creatures. We acknowledge that we have a chance to choose peace over profit, to choose activity over complacency, to choose a greater good over today's convenience. Arouse in us a new compassion, a new willingness to change, a new excitement to foster community, a new faith in the abundance of your kingdom a new zeal for establishing the peace and justice of God, a new desire to set the earth to rights, a new understanding of the connectedness of all things, a new appreciation of the gift of earth. Amen.